with kiss kindness is sexy and tonight I am in this creepy barn so that we can talk about a fundraiser that this local family is doing for Christmas for kids one of my favorite local charities I'm here with Benny Dunsmore we're gonna talk about the charity that he is doing this event for why he's doing it and where you can come to experience all this creepiness it is absolutely fantastic. And no, I'm not going through it by myself. When did you start doing this? Well, we started doing this last year uh, during the pandemic. We heard that they might cancel Halloween. Oh, right. So we started decorating the inside of our house and we opened our house up to the public for kids of all ages um, just to come get a little spook during the holiday season. We used to have, growing up, we had this creepy house that my parents always took us to and they always had a coffin right in the middle of their living room. Horrified me on a regular <laughs> basis, yet I still kept going back because they had really great treats. Oh, yeah. You charge a small amount and a portion of the proceeds will be going this year mm -hmm. to Christmas for Kids. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah, we charge $2 uh, per person and uh, anything we recover um, over and above my hydro bill this month. Uh, we'll be going directly to the charity. That's awesome. One of the things that I find the funniest or the scariest is when people say, oh, um, I'm just going to go through by myself. I walked through this by myself and there were no scares and I'm not doing it when they're scares. <laughs> How many rooms are there here? And what can you tell us without telling too much about each room? Well, I can tell you that there's three main rooms and three main hallways. And it's probably suggested that you bring a friend. Or five. Or a group, yes. Just groups. saying. <laughs> so $2 a person, and a portion of those proceeds goes to Christmas for Kids. Mm -hmm. And where are you located? We are located at 2008 Guilford Road, and we are also accepting donations for the local food bank. You can, so you can bring uh, non-perishable food items, drop them off, and uh, they will take them over to the Innisfil Food Bank. Um, what are the little extra things that uh, people should know about when they come into your haunted house. Well, if you're a horror movie fan, we have Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, and the Scream character um, that frequent the barn almost every night. Oh, uh, I'm not a fan, just want you to know of any one of them. <laughs> so Joseph, mm -hmm. you're one of the scarers, mm -hmm. and would you mind telling me a little bit about what you're doing and the characters that you have or the characters that you've brought into this whole haunted house? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first I'd like to start off the graveyard because I put my own mindset into it. Great. So I have- The graveyard's great. I yes, saw it on the yes. way in. But I put in, first of all, Friday the 13th uh, cameo. Uh, one is by Tommy Jarvis. Starts off with him being a little kid, then it goes into him being insane and a bunch of people uh, accuse him of being Jason Voorhees. So with on the tombstone, I said Tommy Jarvis, and I put a little Jason mask on top of it. I also put Pamela Voorhees' name on there just to pay homage to Pamela Voorhees. Okay, now you have to tell me Pamela Voorhees, since I'm not, yeah. I don't watch horror yeah. films because I do get terrified. So you can tell me what that little reference is. Uh, Pamela Voorhees is the killer on Friday the 13th Part One, the first oh. ever one before Jason was even a killer. Ah uh, ha ha! Because in the first movie, he didn't kill. See what I learn when I come into a haunted house? Yes, and once she died, Jason made a shrine of her. Um, I put it in the graveyard. Oh, nice. Just to put I a little think. apology <laughs> to it. I'm not sure how nice that really is. Yeah, um, the third reference is actually the only horror movie where I've been terrified. Which it one's is, that? It is called, I believe, Terrifier. It features this clown called Art the Clown. He is a mime clown who is scarily tall, very lanky, pitch black teeth, and does not talk the entire movie. But yeah, Art the Clown was the only kill that really terrified me as a kid. And I actually watched it a few years ago. And when I woke up at night after seeing it, I went to the bathroom and I was so paranoid that I saw him down the hallway, went to my room, shut the door, and just hid under the covers. Oh my goodness. Well, one of the places that we have decided to venture into is our little playroom here. And we have little Miss Allison Rose Green Sawyer here. 
I'm just waiting for her to have a conversation with me, but she just keeps, you know, ignoring me and... She shall not speak tonight. That is not something I want to hear by myself. She's not allowed. She has been not so good in the past few days. No, you'll answer her question. Okay. So, little Miss Green Sawyer, what was it that got you coming into this particular barn and um, haunting everyone here? She is the ghost of this house. As a little girl, she was trapped in the well and drowned. That's horrible. Therefore, she is the spirit that is haunting this entire barn. That's actually really sad. I think everyone should come out and, you know, come and visit her and let her know how loved she is. It's only $2 a person and proceeds go to Christmas for Kids. And you can also bring food bank donations. I feel like doing the same thing that you're doing, Allison. You may be affecting me. So, Allison, um, would you mind telling me, did you paint all of these things in the room? She did paint them, but it wasn't out of enjoyment. It was out of the lostness of her childhood. As a child, being trapped in the well, being the spirit of it, it wasn't fun. So this is what her mind thought of, the ghosts of her childhood, as her parents brutally trapped her in the well, and they didn't care for her. Therefore, her hatred of her parents gets held inside of this barn. So this is what all this is for. Her dolls are all of her imaginary friends that she made down in that well and down in those sewers because that's the only place where her parents would throw her out. That makes me sad and scared all at the same time. Thank you so much for visiting with me, Allison. I hope you have... Ah! <laughs> This has got to be my favorite room. What I wanted to really talk to you about was um, why you actually chose Christmas for Kids. A few years ago, we had come across some hard, difficult times. Um, my missus was in a car accident and I oh, hurt no. my knees. And it was, things got difficult. And the, the charity helped us out without question, without hesitation. So that's amazing. Now that we're kind of back on our feet and in a position to give back, we're more than happy to oblige. That's awesome. I think so many people, especially during COVID, there are so many people who are going through the same things. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that Christmas for Kids does is they help families who need gifts at Christmas time, but they're not just for Christmas. They're actually all year round. So if there's a child who needs a gift for a birthday party, no child wants to show up at a party without a gift, even though parents are so understanding. And if a child's inviting you to a birthday party, they don't expect a gift. They're okay, they're inviting you because they love you. But the kids themselves don't want to show up without a gift. And the nicest thing about Christmas for Kids is that they will help you and supply that gift or help you to buy that gift. The child that's celebrating the birthday. I think that's amazing. And I think the fact that you're giving back to a charity that's given to you, mm -hmm. that's one of the best things. And it's one of the reasons that people get involved in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can let me know what the hours are for this lovely haunted house. We are open from 7 to 10.30. Um, we'll probably stay open later Friday night and Saturday night. So regardless of what time it is, come get your spook on. <laughs> and you are located at 2008 Guilford Road in Innisfil. And just a reminder, it's only $2 a person, <laughs> $2 a person for you to come and get your scare on. And a portion of those proceeds go to Christmas for kids. You know, kids, scary kids, creepy kids. <laughs> really? <laughs> scary kids, creepy kids, and older creepy kids too. And I have to say, as always, Kindness is sexy, no matter what you look like. Kindness is sexy. So come on out, get your kindness on and your scare on at... Guilford Haunted Mansion, Spirits of the Barn. Don't forget everyone, thanks so much for coming out and we hope to see you here and maybe we'll hear about people's scare experience. 
Thanks again. Thank you so much, Benny, for coming out and bringing your children. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> I do appreciate you guys taking the time, and I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of scares you all are going to give us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. Kindness is sexy. Kindness is sexy.